The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis, and I believe we have uh, Mr. Stan Harley in the house today. Stan, how are you doing? Mr. Pesavento, I'm doing live and well. We have a question from a listener in Tucson, Arizona. He just raised his hand. That's me. What do you define as a blow-off top, Stan? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't see him very often, but uh, I don't know if this is it. Why don't you continue on with what you'd like to show us today, Stan? I won't bother you with well, any more silly questions. No, no, no. Thank you. Uh, good point. Um, actually, I think that's what's ongoing now. Um, I probably depart a little bit from, from your views. I think you're thinking is we're like right there or pretty doggone close. Um, I think the balance of this year is going to have a northbound push to it. And when it's all said and done, I think it will be viewed as a blow off top. Um, the pullbacks are brief. Um, and boy, if you're not quick, you're, you're missing out. Um, quick and the dead, you got that right. <laughs> indeed. Um, yeah, I think uh, you're, you're in a, almost a near vertical uh, ascent. I don't think it's over yet. I think it's gonna continue for the balance of the year and I've got some um, work targeting where I think it's probably going to peak out. We'll get into that down the road. Um, but in the near term, I think uh, the long side investor is going to be amply rewarded because I, I think the, uh, the path of least resistance is northbound. Um, let's get into some, some charts and we'll um, explore what I think is going on here. Um, There we go. Now we got it. Um, I've got a light on in my eyes, and it's difficult for me to see. <laughs> um, here is, uh, hey, since I'm in Arizona right now, uh, you know, people who don't live here, people who don't live in the desert, don't understand how really beautiful the desert is. You appreciate that because you live in the yes. state of Arizona. And uh, I'm a former resident of the state of Arizona. I live in Virginia, but for a month now, I'm, I'm living here, visiting family and friends. In fact, uh, you and I are probably going to get together here again in the next couple of days, which I look forward to. But, Absolutely. boy, the desert is just really, really pretty, I think. Look at those swaros. Um, yeah. Nowhere else in the world but this. Um, and you, you live here, and you certainly appreciate the beauty. Have you ever seen a cowboy movie? You've seen Swaros. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, here is uh, here's a weekly chart of the stock market. Uh, this reflects a cycle that I've discussed a lot with you and on the air and showing my publications. Uh, it's what I call the primary weekly cycle. And what I have found is that the dominant lows on the <clears throat> weekly chart tend to recur at a rhythm of about 34 weeks. Now, when I say a 34-week cycle, eight-month cycle, uh, that's the nominal rate. That cycle, like all, like most market cycles, expands and contracts. Uh, but if one analyzes it very carefully and looks for a peak in the histogram of where all these cyclical troughs occur, one will find that it falls right at 34 weeks slash eight months. Both of those, of course, are Fibonacci numbers. And uh, the, the most recent occurrence of that low marked the low we had at the tail end of October, first of November. And uh, by my reckoning, it's due once again in the latter part of June. Uh, so before we get to a low, obviously we have to have a high. And then one other interesting phenomenon that occurs uh, with, with cyclical analysis is the phenomenon of right and, tra right and left translation, which you and I've discussed a lot. Uh, Simply put, for the new viewers, uh, in a bull market environment, we tend to see the crest or the high point of the cycle in price occur to the right of the midpoint of the cycle. 
So if with your eye, take a look at the purple lines denoting the troughs, and note where the crests, the high point of the cycle, has occurred uh, relative to the midpoint of that cycle. And you can see in the last 34-week uh, cycle, it occurred to the right, uh, and the one prior to that occurred to the right. The one prior to that on the way down, the last couple occurred to the left. As the market was heading south into the October 2022 bottom, we had left translation. Well, now we're heading higher and we're getting repeated right translation, ergo bull market structure. Looks right, looks right to me. Oh, I Let's recognize say, that. Hey, <laughs> the precious yellow stuff. Uh, uh, here is a, uh, uh, a monthly chart going back uh, 50, 60 years. And uh, these are all the major lows highlighted with the purple lines that have occurred on the, on the monthly gold chart. And as one can see, uh, 102 months, 97 months, 97 months, 90, and so on. When I put the data into a spreadsheet and do a, what's called a regression analysis, which is a mathematical technique for finding the best fit, it turns out we have a cycle here of 94 months, which happens to be the Lucas number 47 times two. Um, and I work a lot with Fibonacci and Lucas numbers. I find that Lucas numbers are far more important in defining either peak to peak or trough to trough sequences. Fibonacci sequences tend to work better in my experience in defining moves either from low to high or high to low. Um, but again, we've got a 94 month cycle here, the product of uh, Lucas 47 times two. And my regression analysis uh, targets the, uh, the May 2024 time period. Well, here we are, Feb. So what we're, what we're, if, if I'm right about this, and, and I'll show a, a, another chart here in just a moment, but uh, clearly we've got right-hand translation going on in the gold market, as we've had all the way up from the April 2001 bottom. Uh, what I think is gonna occur here is we're gonna get what I call extreme right translation where the crest or the high point of the, cur of the cycle occurs not only to the right of the midpoint, but occurs very close to the trough. And when that happens, you get a very short but sharp drawdown into the trough. So the mathematics says the trough is due, and then you've got other cyclical forces putting them, pushing the market up, so you get the high and the low occurring in close proximity. And when that happens, a very short but sharp downdraft to accomplish the cyclical schedule. I call that extreme right translation. I think that's what's developing here. So uh, still looking for a May bottom and gold. Let's take a look at the, uh, the next chart. This is a daily chart going back a couple of years. And look, uh, this is my cyclical template. These are evenly spaced vertical lines. And just with the eye, you can see they're about roughly four months apart, but look how regular that is with uh, just using what I call the LAR method. That, that's a very scientific method, L-A-R. Okay, high. we'll be right back. We'll be right back with Stan Harley, folks, the Harley Stock Market Letter. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, Education investors. 
Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back with Stan Harley, the Harley Stock Market Letter. Please continue, young man. All right. We're talking about the gold chart today. And uh, what I thought I'd do was highlight a cycle on the daily chart that spans nominally about eight months, as you can see with the, with the, with the naked eye, uh, using what I call the very scientific method. Don't tell anybody this. It's called the LAR method, L-A-R. Looks about right. <laughs> I use it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, the LAR method can be pretty good sometimes. Um, now, what I've done in, in the next slide here is uh, I've put all of those lows that you saw on the chart uh, into a spreadsheet and done what's called a regression analysis, which is a statistical technique that finds the best fit to the data series. Mm -hmm. And I construct a linear equation of the form y equals mx plus b, and I can model it. And I can look at the standard deviation, and also I can project into the future using that linear equation. And what it's telling me is the next low point in this cycle, which spans about 76 and change trading days. Luke, 76, by the way, is a Lucas number. Surprise, surprise. Um, the analysis suggests the next low in that series is due right around May 17, 2024. Uh, okay. Right in here. Uh, with a standard deviation of about three and a half days, and oh, hey, we've got a we've got a question uh, from Jeff in New Jersey. Jeff, are you there? Uh, yes, uh, thank you, Larry. Uh, Stan, Please I go ahead. I want to ask your advice on something. I've I'm doing a, a study. I I'm in a lot of different time frames, and what I would like to do is uh, collect data at different points in time uh, of what direction the trend is. Just up to that point, whether it's, you know, trending up, trending down, or going sideways. And um, I'm not satisfied with my definition of, of how to determine the trend. So I was going to ask your recommendation. Like, let's say you're doing a study, you're going to pick a point on a chart, and you're going to say, okay, leading up to this point, very locally, uh, which way is the trend going? Like, how would you uh, determine which way the trend's going? Great question. From, you know, a numerical, rigorous point of view, not just like eyeballing it. I, I can do that. <laughs> but I'm not sure. confident. I, I want to collect, you know, objective, objectively determined uh, data. 
Um, well, Larry and I and all analysts, whether we're professional or amateur, struggle with that every day. If we knew what the trade, what the trend was with absolute certainty, well, we'd put on the trade either long or short and just sit back and, and let it ride. Um, I, I believe in doing a top-down approach. That is, let's say the stock market, for example. I look at yearly data, monthly, weekly, daily, and maybe even shorter term, term period, time periods than that. Um, you can use moving averages. You can use indicators that measure trend. I like percentage range, um, which is a range-bound indicator between zero and 100 uh, with some smoothing constants. Uh, you can use RSI, stochastics. All those are very good for assessing trend. Uh, trend doesn't go straight up or straight down. You know, it has hiccups along the way. And that's the challenge all of us as traders face every single day. So not an easy question to answer. But I think as a technician, we look at the charts. We look at some of the indicators that I just talked about. And then last but certainly not least, I think it's imperative we understand market cycles. And I show some of them on the air here with, uh, with Larry's program uh, that I use. And for me, cycles tell me when the trend is up, when the trend is down, and when the next uh, recurring either high or low is likely to occur. And I think that's the best you and I as traders and analysts can possibly do. Uh, now, to exploit that information from profit is a whole other uh, discipline. <laughs> Trading and analyzing are related, but they're not one and the same. It takes a whole different set of skills to be a good trader as compared to being a good analyst. You can be one or you can be the other and not necessarily both. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, uh, great. Well, I, I don't want to take all your time. Uh, thank you very much. I appreciate your input. My pleasure. Go ahead, Stan. Right, good, good question, Steve. Uh, yeah, Jeff, great, go ahead. Great, great question, yes, <clears throat> indeed. Um, Let's, let's continue on with the goal. Okay, the, the, the analysis suggests to me the trend uh, is probably gonna be lower into the May time period. In the very, very short term, we might have a little bit of buoyancy, but uh, based on my work with the uh, monthly cycle, uh, saying about three months from now, we should have a washout low, and the daily work also conveying a somewhat similar suggestion. I think we need to be watchful for a potential pancake move to the downside, not starting tomorrow or, or maybe even next week, but uh, in the coming weeks with the move lower into, into the May time period. Not certain. Cycles expand. They contract. Sometimes they disappear, particularly when Stan goes on the air with Larry and says, hey, everybody, take a look at this. <laughs> the cycle gods are up there watching, and they're going to say, we're going to do our very best to make this guy look foolish. And they pull the levers and turn the knobs and make sure they don't work. <laughs> but maybe they're not listening today. So if they're not, we might get by on this one. <laughs> what do you yeah, think, that's Mary? for sure. Everything it's going to be close. Is. I'll tell you, you don't see parabolic moves like this very often, but they usually end the same way. But, you know, this time might be different for sure. We, we've seen it happen before. That's in gold in uh, 1980 and silver in 1980 and stuff and and look at bitcoin look bitcoin went from what a dollar to 67,000 a low operator that's a big move <laughs> well we still have some time before they uh, play the music so let's let's continue on let's take a look yes, at yes please life, do yep go right which ahead which is something that uh, a lot of folks are interested in uh, i think the best source of data for home prices that uh, we can all gather and obtain is right off the fred website that's the federal Reserve website that tracks home price data from uh, S&P and Case Shower. And uh, there are 20 large regional indices and the 10 largest metropolitan regional indices as well. And there's a national index. Uh, we can all download this, put this into a spreadsheet. They provide the graphs, but if you want to do any analysis, you've got to put it into your own spreadsheet and, uh, and, and analyze it yourself. Um, very, very simple here, but uh, I've overlaid the monthly data, which is in blue on this chart. These are monthly bars uh, with a 18-month moving average. And take note of the crossing where the monthly price bars in blue cross either above or below that 18-month moving average. You have a very simple but very, very effective buy-sell signal for, for real estate. And uh, you can see several months ago, uh, we made a little high. We came down and we kissed 
the 18 month moving average, but we did not break below it. So no sell signal. Now we've come back up again and the dots are starting to curl over. Well, okay, can we maybe analyze this uh, utilizing some of the techniques that I've talked about? Well, we can. Um, what I've done here, Larry, is I've taken the same data and I've dumped it to make it a little bit easier to see. I've dumped it into a spreadsheet and I've computed what's called a 27 month percentage range indicator. That's an Stan, indicator that, uh, yes. Our, we're running out of time, buddy. We'll have you on again soon, but God bless you. Thanks for coming on. I'll see you soon, okay, pal? Thank you so much. We're looking forward to seeing you down here. Stan Harley, folks, the Harley Stock Market Letter. Stay tuned for the man from Naples, Florida. Norman calls it like it is, Winsky. We'll be right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. I believe that we have Norman Winsky on the line and in the house. Norman, how are you doing? Okay, Larry. Uh, great to hear from you. Great to have you. Thanks for having me on your Having me on well, your show. Special thing because tomorrow is the Chinese New Year, and I know you're very strong into because your ancestry is laced with Chinese everywhere, just like mine. So <laughs> <laughs> everybody, everybody's Chinese when they go to the restaurant. That's for sure. There you go. Go ahead. Okay, please. I'm going Continue. to. Uh, I was last on your show on uh, January the 22nd, I believe. 
and we had some things happen over that w previous weekend and uh, some things a after that. So I'm going to go over those now and review and see how we did. So okay. over the 19th weekend, we had uh, Pluto entering the sign of Aquarius. Pluto is a 248-year cycle, so Pluto changing signs only occurs on average about every 20 years. And not only did we have geo from the point of view of the Earth geocentric, we had it also occurring from the point of view of the sun heliocentric. They're both happening there within a few days of each other. is a rather rare event. So anyway, so we were looking for uh, uh, maybe a turn there, in, a possible turn in cattle, cocoa, copper, cotton, hogs, and T-bonds. Of course, the helio uh, version is the same. <coughs> Excuse me. Then the night of the 20, over, uh, AC is after the close, PM is afternoon. I don't have any AM, so that, that would be morning. After the close of the night of the 22nd, we had Mercury at south latitude. By the way, if you want any help with any of these technical terms, please feel free to contact me. I'll give you a free class on this, on these terminology here. It's all, once you're familiar with it, it's all pretty simple. Nothing I'm doing here is over a fifth grade level. Don't need any advanced math, any worksheets, no, uh, uh, any, any Fourier analysis, any of that stuff. Mercury, if, you, if we did, I couldn't do it, by the way. <laughs> so anyway, Mercury, zero south latitude. Anytime you have Mercury, a Mercury cycle, we want to be looking at the grains, corn, soybeans, wheat. And by the way, the stocks potentially respond to all events. So uh, just assume the stock market is for all these events. Then we had the night of the uh, 23rd, over the, after the close, they had Pluto to the U.S. natal chart. That's based on uh, where the planets were when our country was founded on the 4th of July of 1776. And anytime we have that, we have stocks, look at stocks, T-bonds, U.S. dollar. And then we had the afternoon of the 25th, we had a full moon in the sign of Leo. And anytime we have a full moon, new moon, we look at financials, grains, precious metals, oil. And because it was in the sign of Leo, that's corn and gold. So we're emphasizing corn and gold for that full moon. And then the night of the 26th, we had Jupiter aligning up again with the U.S. chart for stock C bonds, U.S. dollar. And then also that weekend, that was a weekend, uh, I think the 20s. Yeah, that was a weekend. That was a weekend. Uh, so that's Friday after the close over the weekend. Uranus turned direct. That's the opposite of retrograde. Has to do with the relative motion of the Earth to the other planets. And that's cattle, copper, and cotton. You know, Taurus is the bull. So naturally, you would think it might have something to do with cattle. We'll see if that worked or not. Here's the moon here. Here's our moon point here, the afternoon of the 25th. And we're got uh, double double up on the points there for corn. Had I had it wrong, I would have put two red arrows there. But green is good, and we got to get two points for corn there for, <clears throat> for the full moon in Leo. Uh, the beans were not friendly at all. They were about a day early over here uh, for our bean or mercury point here. And then over here on the moon, we were about a day late. So uh, we got two strikes on the beans. Uh, red is a miss. Green is uh, you had an opportunity to make some money. Here, wheat went 50-50. The mercury point didn't work a little early, and, but the moon was very good. That was, I think, the high of the month there on the moon for the wheat. I, but here's a little hi uh, history along the lines of, you know, some of the great uh, market traders and gurus of the 20th century. There was a sort of a contemporary of Gann, uh, Mr. Pugh. He wrote a book about how he made a fortune trading wheat on the lunar cycle, you know. Uh, I forget the guy's first name, but uh, Burton. P. E. Burton What's that? Pugh. Burton that's Pugh. Right, Burton that's right. Pugh. Yeah, Burton Pugh. P. U. G. H. I believe is how he spelled his name. Yes. Anybody wants to look that up? Uh, here's well, anytime we go sideways, I sit on the sidelines, and we put a yellow box there to mark that. We had two points there for the cattle, and the cattle's going sideways. You could have marginally said that the, the cattle was declining there. But you're kind of in a gray area. I erred on the side of caution and said that it was sideways, so we do nothing there. Uh, had you had you bought on the decline, you would have done really well. But I'm going to count that as a nothing. And then we went up here to a, night, a little one-day 
kind of topping one to two, or I guess a well, two-day topping area there. If you sold there, you could have made a little bit of money on the cattle. Here's the cotton here. We are two points there for cotton. Or, uh, let's see, what is that? Cotton, cotton. Uh, let me look that up. Hold on one second. Oh, that's our Pluto point, right? Pluto. A point there we had the over the weekend, and then that afternoon we had the second Pluto point. That would have worked for you. And so you went 50 50 over here. But uh, hold on. We had Uranus turn. Uh, direct in the sign of Taurus. Taurus is cotton, and you made a very nice low there. As you can see, the next actually it went a little bit lower the next day, and then up, up and away. Uh, here's silver. You had a little like about a one-day top there. You had a little pullback. I think that was good for about uh, 20 cents. And on the big contract there, if you're trading that, that's a thousand. It doesn't look like much, but that's a thousand dollars you're looking at potentially there. Here's the gold. It was really uh, friendly on the gold. Here now we had the double, double emphasis there on the gold, and that was the uh, that day was the low of the month for the gold, back on the moon when the moon, full moon in Leo. Here's the crude oil again. Something happened there. I don't know. It was pulled things. Some of these markets a day early, and we were a day early there ahead of that big top there. So I had to count that as a miss. Here's your S&P. We had these three points here. And we notice we have like seven, eight points for the S&P. All the points I mentioned applied to the stock market. So we had one, two, three misses there where we kind of, uh, yep, didn't go in and then it popped up. But then when we got here, that was a little bit of a short-term top there. And the scaling is such, I think that's about 80 handles on the S&P or something like that. Let's see, it's about 20 down to... About maybe 40, make that for about, <coughs> excuse me, about 40 handles. Uh, and then it popped back up. You had another chance to make about another <coughs> 40 handles there. And then over here, we're, we got uh, two points there that were, we're obviously, the kid get much more sideways than that. So that was a pass. So we got uh, we th three misses, two winners on the S&P. Uh, the T bonds are probably by best market of this period. With We had four points for the B bonds and we got, Everyone was a potential winner. If you sold there, uh, the next day you're down. You obviously you sold there. It's a little bit better. Okay. And then Got to pay down. a few bills. Got to pay okay. a few okay. bills, my friend. Stay with us. We'll be back with Norm Winsky, Astro Trans, folks. He's not finished. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. 
TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, we're back, folks, speaking with Norm Winsky, Astro Trends. Please continue, Norm. And have Thank two you, questions. Larry. When we went, we went to the break, we were reviewing T-bonds. And as I showed here, we had the four <laughs> points, and everyone was a winner. And we were right there on the low, <coughs> made the low of the month, and then up, up, and away. Next, we're going to look at the, some currencies. We had the U.S. dollar index. And you see here you had a nice uh, one-day top there and a big dull climb. And it rallied back up. And for another one-day, one- to two-day uh, sell there, to decline. So you had potentially two winners there, and then it went sideways for the third point for the dollar, and so we took a pass. Here's the British pound decline into the, uh, our, that's the moon, that's the full moon, and then it popped back up, so you had a chance to make some money there. Here's the Canadian dollar, I think that's near the low of the month, but maybe not, I went lower over there, so not quite, uh, so anyway, then nice low there, and big up up, from the moon and there's a euro I had a one day uh, pop up there off the moon so we have you count up the green arrows and the red arrows you got 19 winners eight misses out of 27 70.37 percent i did not show you this in advance but i have lots of witnesses uh, people this is in my letter every month been doing this for i don't know 45 50 45 years or more Maybe 50. I have to get my calculator out. But it gets that long, you know. Anyway, every month I draw this blue line in advance for the month. Uh, potential, uh, you know, forecast a la Bradley style forecast. But I change Bradley a lot. And it started on the 2nd of January and ran through the 2nd of February. And as you can see there, I think it's a pretty, maybe 85% correlation. Pretty good. And if you st were to study this chart, there's a whole course, a whole class here. On these different points, there's Jupiter turning direct, Mercury turning direct there. There's the new moon there. These various symbols, you know, Mercury, zero south latitude. You see you being a little, kind of a little, uh, I guess it would be more of a kind of a little trading low there. And there's your full moon there and so forth, you see. Here's Uranus turning direct there, a little bit of a pullback low there before it went up. So that's pretty good. So let's let's see what's let's talk about what's coming up here in the next few days. Right now, tonight, this weekend, we have a new moon in the sign of Aquarius, and it's not just any new moon, Larry. It's a new moon at perigee. That is the technical term is a syzygy when you have two or more cycles converging together like that, and they also call that a supermoon, uh, and so forth. And so that's when the moon, what is perigee? That's as the moon goes around the Earth, uh, about 25, 26 days. And it's not in a circle. It's elliptical. And so there's a point where the moon is closest to the Earth and where it's farthest from the Earth. And perigee is where it's closest to the Earth. And it's a new moon. So the, the, the classic, of course, is the full moon at perigee. <coughs> and that's when the moon looks really big. But because it's a new moon, you might have trouble <coughs> seeing it. It's all dark. It's dark, you know. The moon is dark. So anyway, the moon will be close to the Earth, and a new moon. You'll have big gravitational pull on the Earth, and we'll be anytime we have a new moon, full moon. We look at financials, grains, precious metals, oil, and because it's in the sign of Aquarius, we're running a special <coughs> of copper. 
Notice we have a, a theme of uh, Aquarius and Copper here uh, because on the night of the 12th, we have uh, geocentric Mars entering the sign of Aquarius. And of course, then you want to look at Copper. And then the next night, we have Venus. It's a cold pl ruling planet for Copper. And so that's in this group here, Cattle, Copper, Cotton, Sugar, Wheat. So keep your eye on Copper. Let's see if it does anything on that next few days, you know. Now, this is the maybe the most entertaining part of the show, Larry. I'm going to, every February, here I have this. This stuff is copied right out of my letter. I did uh, summarize it, you know, cut it down so we won't take up so much time. Uh, but every February, I do what I call the February Forecast for Fun Fest, where I do these sort of fun, some of these fun forecasting models, like you have your Chinese astrology. Last year, it was the year of the rabbit, and the rabbit was forecasting an up year, and we got that. On the downside, the rabbit was forecasting uh, more peace and uh, uh, <laughs> or peace and what's the word tranquility or whatever around the yeah. world and so forth. And obviously, that did not uh, work out so well, you know. So anyway, uh, so last, so it, it, the the rabbit was right last year about an up year prosperity that the stock market went up. Uh, but this year we have the year of the dragon. And uh, that'll be tomorrow, the tenth. And what's what's the dragon say? Well, the dragon says most auspicious years of any in the Chinese zodiac, as the only mythical creature of the zodiac, dragon is considered to be both powerful and benevolent because the rules of the earthly realm don't apply to dragons. Think <coughs> about it: dragons can't fly. Uh, dragons can fly. This year has infinite possibilities. It's a year of increased confidence and security and making dreams come true and sharing that wealth with others. So I would assume that, that the dragon is forecasting up here for the stock market. Now we're going to go and talk about the uh, January barometer. Uh, not everybody knows the title of this, but everybody has heard, the, almost everybody's heard the phrase, as January goes, so goes the year. That The title, the name for that is the January barometer. We look at what January did. It, uh, I think there was a 100-year string there for the Dow Jones where if the Dow was up in January, you had it up year, and it worked almost every time. And if January was down for the year, you had a down year for the Dow Jones. I'm doing S&P now. And so last year, uh, the, the model said that uh, well, we should be up. And, uh, and in fact, we were up 6.18% for the S&P. And so, therefore, that was pretty good. Oh, wait. So January, oh, no, I, I take it. I said that wrong. Jan, the month of January was up 6.81%. And for the year, we were up 24.2%. There we go. So that's pretty good. And now for this year's forecast, 2024, uh, we had it up in January. So we should be uh, have it up here. And let's see. Uh, uh, now I've taken this model one step further, I don't know that anybody else thought about this, but in fact, this is what we call a fractal, where you're taking a piece of something and extrapolating out the bigger picture. So I, I decided I would see if perhaps along the way, along the year, uh, that you could forecast turning points during the year. And in fact, it's worked out pretty well over the many years I've done this. So I'm going to be publishing the, I do this for 28 different markets, and I'll be publishing the 2024 fractals. I'm going to be putting that together this weekend uh, based on the January price action. So if you're interested in that, get a hold of me. If you want to subscribe to my letter, by the way, you get a half off on the fractal forecast. Now, here's where it gets cut brutal, or I think is really interesting. The January barometer can actually forecast the Super Bowl. And the Super Bowl has a Super Bowl indicator. And the Super Bowl indicator has an excellent track record of forecasting what the stock market is going to do. Well, if they both are going to forecast the same thing, then they, must, they have to be in agreement a high percentage of the time. Well, if January is an up month, that means the Super Bowl indicator says that you have this, the NFL is divided into two conferences. You have what's called the NFC, short for the National Football Conference, and the AFC, short for the American Football Conference. And the champions of those two conferences get together in the Super Bowl. If the, the the history has been that if the oh we're going to break until they have to pay the full amount. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back, folks.
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. And the Super Bowl champion for this year is going to be? Well, according to the January barometer, what happened in January, the market was up Let's see, we were up uh, on the S&P 1.59% for January. That would indicate that the NFC, San Francisco 49ers, uh, playing the uh, AFC champion, Kansas City Chiefs, that the 49ers should win the Super Bowl. Makes okay. sense to me. I don't bet on them, but it sounds like a good idea. Well, that's based on the uh, uh, statistical history okay. of the Super Bowl. Correlating How many times with, with that, many what happened in January? What, what's what, what is this, what's the statistics behind these past uh, 50 years in the Super Bowl? What, what have, how many times have well, been right Super Bowl wrong? indicator up until I had a couple of bad years here. Up until that point, it was over 80%. It's probably 75% now. Wow, that's still pretty good. That's Wow. Yeah. <laughs> that's darn good. <laughs> I yeah. know you had a couple of years, but boy, you had four or five right in a row. Some of them were, were, uh, were surprises, too. Hey, listen to them. Yeah. We're coming to the end of the show here. And if yes, the 49ers, if the 49ers win and, and the stock market keeps going up, we're going to have you on as again. OK. OK. And yeah, even, even, if, even if even if let me even show you if real that quick doesn't happen. Go ahead. Let me just show you real quick what a fractal looks like. This is I drew these blue line, did these blue lines, blue bars are based on January price action. And back in February of 2023, then then at the end of the year we overlay the black bars, the actual prices. You see that worked out pretty well for natural gas. And here I've been doing this a long time. I'm a former Chicago floor trader, 
and so forth. I'd be happy to help the folks. So looking forward to so the folks contacting me. And here we go. And here's my contact information in case we're running out of time. There's, I'm in beautiful Naples, Florida, 239-594-3939. You can email me at nwhiskey at yahoo.com, or that's also my Skype address. Happy oh, Chinese Lord. New Year, my friend. May God bless. Thank you very much, Larry. Norm Winsky, folks. We'll see you on the flip side tomorrow. Oh, let's try that Monday. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>